I know, it's kind of it's yeah. a little more verb than I expected. Yeah. 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 Well, welcome back to this special Christmas Day edition of PTL. We just saw the Yule log mm -hmm. burning there, and maybe <laughs> your favorite thing to do this holiday week is to stay right by the fire. It could be, but if oh, you like to get good. out and about, Team PTL has you covered with a look at a few of the many wonderful ways to celebrate the season around town. Yes, in fact, that is what makes up today's list. Yes, we have a list even today. <laughs> even today. <laughs> Each of us will share our favorites throughout the hour here, and maybe your family's favorite is on our list as well. Okay, David, so you buy my pick, Selena's, and Mikey's, Ron. You get a pick, too. So yep. we want to get started with David's A Trip to Phipps. Yeah, mine is a, a trip to Phipps. And really, you know, you go to Phipps, it's one of the most beautiful places in Pittsburgh to oh, visit yeah. yeah. any time of the year. But that is especially true right now. Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens is truly a Pittsburgh treasure, and it has become a holiday tradition for me. Maybe I'm still a kid at heart because this miniature world at Phipps is one of my favorite attractions. The moving trains, the bridge over the waterfall. Kids love pushing the five interactive buttons to make the trains, the tractors, and the wind turbine go. The official name for the room is the Garden Railroad Farm Foods and Family. Garden railroading is kind of like a dying hobby, uh, but we keep it alive here at Phipps and we create a whole new design, whole new track layout, all new planting plan every single year. There are six trains in all, and it's easy to get lost in all the details. So I know adults are fascinated by this, but I bet kids are really fascinated by this. Oh my gosh, kids love this. You, I've seen families like try to get their kids out of this room and it takes so, <laughs> so long. But it's worth leaving this room because there's plenty more to see at Phipps Holiday Magic Winter Flower Show and Light Garden. The selfie spot this year may be right as you enter in front of this beautiful carousel. But room after room is filled with gorgeous flowers and holiday lights. They've been planning for a year and it takes a ton of work to make it reality. The physical install takes two and a half weeks and uh, we are ready the day after Thanksgiving to open the show. And as cool as the inside rooms are here at Phipps during the holidays, my favorite spot is probably outside here. And to truly appreciate all this, of course, it has to be night. The lights are above you, next to you, and below you as you walk through the garden. The path leads you through the beautiful grounds, and a dusting of snow only makes it all the more perfect. We have 10 acres total, um, so the winter light garden is both inside and outside, kind of flowing in and out. Um, our outdoor garden and discovery garden is about 65,000 square feet, um, but millions of lights. I think this is uh, such a tradition for Pittsburghers. Yeah. How and you had such power. I know. Yeah. Oh, the show off. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> and you know what? This show is so popular. Phipps is actually requiring timed tickets oh, to wow. see Holiday Magic, and you can book yours online. So look for the link, of course, at PittsburghTodayLive.com. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Is you, Heather. What did you choose? Well, you know, I love all of the Carnegie Museums. I know oh, yeah. we all enjoy every single one of them, but my kids particularly love the Science Center right now, and each museum has something special for the holidays. But I stopped by the Science Center to see something even the big kids will really enjoy. Super Power Dogs is a super experience in 3D at the Rango's Theater at the Carnegie Science Center. Still playing through at least March, but this week, there's also some throwback fun happening. We have the Stir Crazy Cinema Series where we're showing a bunch of old classic movies. These aren't old films like you're thinking. These are classics from the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. We have Gremlins, we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, we have The Princess Bride, and we have Titanic showing in that week between Christmas and New Year's. Nostalgia of a different kind, there's always the miniature railroad and village where we discovered there's always something new to find. There are Easter eggs throughout this whole thing. So if you know where to look, there's like in this little house right here, if you look in the left window, it's Mr. Rogers is sitting in there with his sweater on. I didn't know that. Yeah. So you can like right in this little house right here. Of course, the latest display is fun to explore. The Kaufman's building with the windows meticulously designed and the clock on the corner. And that was it? Nope. That's, That's just the fine. beginning. It's a real earthquake. Head upstairs to the fourth floor to the newly installed Bricksburg, where even the Shake Shack got a new look to match the exhibit. If we ever got rid of that, I think we'd have some kind of uprising on our hands. So we just changed it to so it would fit in terms of the theme of what we've done here with Bricksburg. And of course, don't miss Mummies of the World on the first floor with 125 real mummies, including one that only dates back 25 years. 
That's awesome. I think it's funny that we both chose places that have miniature railroads. Yeah. Kind of fits with the holiday. You're really drawn to it. And I have to say, I laughed when uh, Jason Brown told us that this was these were throwbacks. These were classics. The Gremlins, <laughs> yeah. Titanic. Yeah. You know, they're Cold. throwbacks for me, but it doesn't <laughs> feel right. Yeah. 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 It does make you feel a little bit older, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We're especially. Yeah. We're but classic. It looked That's like that saying. popcorn was good, too. Uh, <laughs> I ate it through the entire science. Oh. I need to see the mummy exhibit. I remember yeah. you went there too. That's the one that stood out. It was awesome. Yeah. A lot of really cool stuff there. Very good. All right, well, stay with us because we are going to share Ron, Selena, and Mikey's picks for what they like to do this <laughs> holiday week. That is ahead. Plus, we're going to do a little cooking with Rainia. <laughs> but first, we leave you right now with a little holiday music to celebrate today and our city too. It's a black and gold Christmas by Chip and the Charge Ups. It doesn't matter if that sky lies. But if it's too slippy, then I see the tree that's at the point from the Empire Station Square. We celebrate as a mountain pie with a love that's understood. This is what Mr. Rogers called a beautiful day in the 